Oh, and it's even got like torches burning on the front and it's on a zombie body in the back. That's hilarious. Oh, that's the horn! Oh, I love it! <laughs> this is my favorite. Welcome back everybody to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming and I have some sad news and some happy news. The sad news is that this is the final episode of Ravenhurst on Alpha 19 that I am going to do on the channel. So this is our farewell episode. Uh, the, the happy news is that Alpha 20 is now on the uh, uh, the streamer weekend thingamadoodle and on Monday, so today is Friday the 3rd, so on Monday the 6th, we will have uh, Alpha 20. And so it's been my intention all along, and I, I believe I've announced this uh, more than once on the, uh, both on the series and in the Discord and whatnot, that when Alpha 20 comes out, we will be ending the Ravenhurst series. And uh, so, yeah, that time has come. Uh, I'm at the point, you know, where bo both due to my schedule and everything else that's going on on the channel and in real life and whatnot, that, uh, and the fact, you know, that we're going to start Alpha 20 on Monday, um, that I'm, th there's not really any reason to continue on here in Ravenhurst. Um, so I really enjoyed the, the mod, um, to the point where I do plan on, tentatively plan on playing it again, uh, when... It's a, like really framey over here. It's probably because all the trees I planted. Uh, tentatively plan on planting it again uh, in uh, during the Alpha 20 era. Um, when couldn't say uh, because I'll probably you know I want to do Unled Legacy again too, uh, and Ravenhurst and either Darkness Falls as a single player series or again as a multiplayer series in Alpha 20. But as most of you probably know, um, we can't uh, we we have to wait until stable. Um, comes out and then even after stable comes out we still have to give the mon authors a little bit more time you know to to get it all working in alpha 20 so um, my in intention is to uh, start an alpha 20 vanilla experimental uh, let's play series uh, and we'll play on in, on insane uh, nightmare speed like we always do uh, for that and then I might do a stable vanilla series too when once stable comes out or I might not I haven't really decided yet if I feel like a you know we got the the full meal deal experience uh, during the experimental and they didn't make any um, major changes from experimental to stable which they usually don't it's usually just bug fixes and not really a lot of feature types of changes uh, we may not do that and we might jump right into um, one of the mods probably i'm not again i'm not promising but probably that the first mod we will do is undead legacy because i just love that overhaul so much um and then after that uh ravenhurst uh or darkness falls or you know maybe some of the other ones too i mean some of you guys have told me in the comments that i should be i should try out um uh, the day z mod it's pretty good some of you have mentioned the uh what's it called the uh, is, is it the oblivion mod it's kind of like a medieval type of theme. Uh, one, one or two of you have mentioned sorcery, though. I don't know. I don't know. It, sorcery is more just adds sorcery to the game, is it? I don't know that it's an actual overhaul. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know that much about it. Um, let's see. What else is out there? There's, um, there is, I don't know. Is War of the Walkers even still around anymore? I don't know. So that, you know, there's other possibilities. But Undead Legacy is a high, high priority on my list for Alpha 20 uh, as one of the first mods. Ravenhurst will be also, um, because I do, you know, at the at the end of the, at, at the end of it all, <laughs> I really, I really did enjoy this mod. I mean, hell, we put over 100 episodes out. That's even more than I did on, on UDL. Um, but it, it was a struggle, but that's part of why I love it so much. You know, it was a struggle. It took me a long time to get used to this mod and how it works and, how difficult it is in terms of just the general gameplay and the slow progression. But, you know, when it's all said and done, it, it makes for an enjoyable experience. So, you know, definitely bravo to uh, uh, Jax Teller and the gang, you know, for creating Ravenhurst. Uh, just a wonderful experience. Uh, our Horde base served us very well. And this thing, you guys, was just an XP machine. Um, I haven't... 
I don't think I've done anything in here. Oh, didn't, have I repaired it? No, we have a broken block. Uh, but the last horde night that we did here, uh, it, it's just as smooth as, as possible as it possibly could have been. Um, even with, you know, we had a lot of vultures coming in and even a geist or two. It was a nasty horde, but we were still able to. Did you guys notice the, <laughs> that there's like a, a frowny face on the with uh, X, uh, X'd out eyes on the end of the sledge chart? I've seen that before, but uh, you don't usually look at the that end of the sledge chart, so that's just funny. Um, so, yeah, there we didn't experience everything we possibly could have in the mod. There's still some in-game things. Probably the biggest thing that kind of sucks for me is that we never found the socket so that we could make some of the aircraft. And one of you guys suggested to me in the comments uh, in the last episode that we do that maybe I spawn some of that stuff in just to, to check it out. And I think we will do that. I did something similar at the end of the Undead Legacy series, too, because, um, you know, we, we didn't get everything done in that series either. But I felt like, you know, it was time for us to wrap it up. So what I did at, at the very end of it is we spawned in some of the in-game stuff to check it out. Um, so let's do that. Let's go into uh, here. We're going to type in a creative menu. And I think I'm just going to go into God mode too, just to kind of make things a little bit easier on all of us. Uh, so let's go into here. And we did learn um, the helicopter. I'm trying to remember what the name of that is. Helicopter blades. Do, 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 U8. Isn't it like UH or U something? All blocks, all items. Let's go to items and see if we can just find it here. Uh, and then there's, yeah, there's these vehicles. So there's the junker. Let's grab one of those. Check that out. The work truck chassis. I don't, these are probably not going to be anything different than just the normal vehicles and except for, you know, I mean, they're going to probably perform the same way, but just have different looks to them. Uh, we can grab this motorcycle here with the hood removed, but again, probably the same thing as vanilla. What's this? A stun grenade. Oh, that's interesting. Hellhound. We're going to have to check the hellhound out. What is this? A scrubbed bicycle. Yeah, that just removes the yellow paint, I think. Queen Shaneth's head. Spider hearts. See, I never ran into any of that shit. A thumplerite rifle. Yeah, we might have to check that out too. <laughs> that could be cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? This is a stun baton repulsor mod. Blessed metal mod. Increases damage to undead targets, which is... It? Oh, okay. That's interesting. What's this? Thumper drill tap. A very hard... A drill tip that can be attached to mining tools and machine tools that will increase block damage by 50%. You die. Uh, okay. So, all right, let's go back into here. Now, there was, there's also some other vehicles. What if we just type car in? There's a golf cart. Let's check that out. <laughs> that could be fun. Um, and then, wasn't there a duster? Oh, it's a duster plane. I was thinking duster like car, like an you know, like an, a Plymouth duster. Interesting. I think there's also a dirt bike. Yeah, I loved the dirt bike in um uh War as UK when we when we played that. Um chopper. Uh oh. There we got a, a little bit of a lag there. What the hell is the name of that chopper? Um, I think it's back at the base. So let's go. Let's go back to the base. Um, so I don't know. Let's try the golf cart first. Cause why not? <laughs> okay, so we'll put this down. Uh, oh yeah, I guess we need gasoline. Uh, so let's go back to here. And we're just gonna grab some gas. Are you moving? You're moving. Okay. Okay, so this has this has the um, the mini bike sound effect. 
Um, but it doesn't go very fast. <laughs> so that's to be expected. Get out of the way. Okay. Um, so there, there's that. You guys are going to leave me alone? All right, now let's try out this motorcycle here. I'm gonna put some gas in it. So this is just the motorcycle, just with a different look to it. Cool. All right. So nothing, nothing spectacular in terms of what it does. It's just a, a different looking motorcycle. That's cool. All right, let's go in try out the junker so yeah same thing it sounds like and appears to function just like the normal motorcycle I don't know it might it could just be my imagination but maybe whoop, uh, maybe it's actually going faster than the normal motorcycle not sure you know, Warriors had the turbo mod that you could put on, and I know A Darkness Falls does too. Don't know if Ravenhurst does. Yeah, I think this is actually going a little faster than the vanilla motorcycle. We're really booking along here. That's kind of cool. I am really framing. You know what? Let's let's set this down to medium. Part of it's just because I'm in all these trees here, but. We'll set stuff down to medium, make it a little better. Um, and let's take motion blur off. I'm going to put the texture quality back up, though. I don't know that that did a whole lot. It's still really framey. All right, let's get the... Uh, let's try the pickup out. I'm expecting this to behave just like the Jeep or the 4x4. Yep, same sound. Is it going any faster? Doesn't really seem to. Spins out a lot. I've noticed custom vehicles in this game tend to do that. They don't have really good traction. I wonder why that is. Alright, I want to go over here and let's look in the mechanics workbench. Oh, it's the AC. That's what it is. Okay, so we've got the AC. Oh, there's a charger. Okay. AC, the charger, the duster... A Willy Jeep and an MD500. Okay, let's try the charger. There we go. Um, how about this this red one here? So this car in Darkness Falls is really bad for spinning out. Oh, it does have a custom sound though. Yeah, it looks it looks like it behaves quite a bit <laughs> like it does in Darkness Falls. It's probably the same exact thing actually. It is cool, though. It has terrible acceleration. Oh! Cut it out, game. Don't be doing that shit. Not too bad on the top end speed, though. Okay. Oh shit. Go away, wolf. Excuse me, Mr. Bear. Oh. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> oh, 
Um, you know what? Let's do. Let's make it daytime because twenty three thirty. Yeah, let's make it daytime so we can see a little bit better. Okay. This would be a good car for a drift race. But yeah, it's it spins out a lot. Oh shit, the bear's still after us. <laughs> Run away! I'm sorry, bear. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Woo! Okay. What are you, uh... Nah, you're just a normal. I'm just not aiming worth a shit here. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's try out the dirt bike again. If this is just like it was in... Uh, Juarez. I love this thing. Uh, nope. We gotta hold E. Put some... We need to get some more gas. Looks like. Oh, yeah, look how fast this sucker goes. Yeah, I love this, man. It's too bad. It, it's, look, oh my goodness, this thing goes fast. It's too bad we didn't get this in the in the normal uh, season. This would have been fun to have and have it around. But, I, you know, the, again, the problem is I couldn't make any of this shit because we never found the stupid socket. But it is what it is, you know? Yeah, this this vehicle goes really fast. It's got good traction. It's not going to spin out a ton. And uh, I love it. It's one of my favorite vehicles, modded vehicles for seven days. Very cool. Okay. Now, let's go in here and we want to try out the... Uh... What the hell was that thing called again? Oh, the yeah, let's try the MD5. I think we tried the MD5 in Undead Legacy. Okay, I gotta remember how the controls work. They're they're a little weird. Okay, so C is forward, spacebar is back. And then um, w is up and S is down. And then A and D are rudder controls. All right, cool. The, the only thing, the only one on here that's a little counterintuitive to, to me, I guess, is is the C tipping forward. And, oh, that was not smart. Shit. How do we survive that? Oh, man, we need a... Are you sure you want to bail out of the vehicle option there? Oh, anyway, all right. <laughs> We're lucky. We're lucky we didn't die there. Um, we should be... Actually, we put God Mode on. We might as well use it, right? Um, except for sometimes that messes up the view on some things. Am I crack? Oh, I'm sunk in the ground. All right. Here, let's take fly mode and collision off. There. Okay. Next, let's try out this thing here. So... Is this do anything special or is it just a four by with a bunch of barbed wire on it? And and a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> okay. Here, get back in, put the brake on. Uh here we go. Interact with a hellhound. Oh, and it's even got, like, torches burning on the front, and it's on... 
a zombie body in the back. That's hilarious. Oh, that's the horn! Oh, I love it! <laughs> this is my favorite. It even goes, it looks like it goes a little faster too than the, uh, uh, you know, than the normal 4x. Oh, this is cool, man! Oh, I wish we could have made this. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I wonder if uh, this barbed wire actually does damage to Zeke. So let's go see if we can find a Zeke. Oh, this is funny, man. This is so funny. Alright, see now we're looking for Zombos and there's none to be found, of course. Isn't that the way it goes? Here, let's go see if we can wake up some sleepies. I just want to see if this actually- oh, here's a Z. I just want to see if they, you know, again, like, if it'll, it'll damage them. Oh, it catches them on fire! Does he hit the torch, or is it just the whole vehicle that does it? Let's let him, uh, okay. Now let's see if he just touches the vehicle. Does he catch on fire? Um. Oh, he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We have, you know, when we play Ravenhurst in Alpha 20, you guys, we have got to find the socket. This would have been so fun to have. <laughs> All right, this looks like a good place for us to try uh, the duster. So let's uh, grab that. See, now this is a fixed wing, so I'm not sure how this will actually function. Um, it's probably going to be just like the gyrocopter, I'm guessing. But we'll see what it does. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to work the rudders. Okay, C for down. Spacebar for up. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. Okay, see for down, see for down, see for down. I can't seem to. I can't get altitude because. Um, because I'm not up to speed. It's a good thing I have my radiation suit on, huh? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, let's try this again. See, it's it's turning. I can't get it to go straight. It want, every time I it just wants to go off. We need a bunch of gas. Hey, well, we, let's also... Oh, wow, that's, uh... It looks like it takes that thumplerite stuff. Thumplerite ammo. Oh, this is like, okay, so this is a, like a bolt rifle. Huh. One shot kind of thing. How much damage is it supposed to do? 107 ranged damage. It's not that impressive. I mean, our sniper rifle does 120, but it doesn't have any mods on it either. 
Are there other Thumplerite weapons? No, just the rifle. That's it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. It's probably... It's probably fun, you know, and reasonably powerful if you get it. Modded? Seems like it, the projectile has a lot of drop on it, too. Keep hitting the wrong thing. Let's wait for him to go straight at us so I don't have to actually try and use skill here. So, it's stuck like a dart or something in his head. Does the Thumplerite do something else? Because, honestly, I'm not that impressed. What does this say? Ammo for the Thumplerite rifle. Okay, Thumplerite rifle. Use this weapon for long-range attacks. After the bullet starts to drop, we'll award more experience on kills. Okay, for body shots, additional experience for headshot kills. Use bullet drops, so be sure to lead and account for the drop. Okay. So it's just kind of an XP gimmick kind of thing. As, as an actual weapon, not super impressed. Okay, let's try this again. We got a little sidetracked there by the Thumpler, right? Now, as soon as I start going forward, it wants to turn to the right. And I don't know why. I, I've got my finger crammed on the A key, which should be the left key, but it just drifts to the right for some reason. Okay, let's back it up again. And then it... <laughs> when I hold the D key down, then it really turns sharp to the right. So, I don't know, it's not... It's not even really, doesn't even really seem to be reverse controls. Um, if we could get the damn thing up in the air, then I could at least, you know, see if I could figure it out from that way. Let's try it one more time. Okay, now it's going to the left. We might actually be able to take off. There we go. Okay, so that's rudder. Uh, mouse is bank. Maybe I was... Ooh. Maybe I was just banking too much. C levels it out. Okay. So it does... It does pretty much fly like the... Uh-oh. Uh Ravenhurst lockup? There we go. It does pretty much fly like the gyrocopter, I guess. Let's see if we can land it on top of the Deshaun. Have to kind of stall it out here. Hey, well, I, I, I guess that qualifies as landing it on top of the Deshaug. Are we still in God mode? Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeehaw! Down we go. Nice flat tree. Okay. Why did that hurt me? That should not have hurt me. What the hell? Does God mode not protect you against fall damage? And if it doesn't, that should have, like, totally killed me. All right, whatever, game. Uh, all right, let's see. Is there anything else we want to try? Oh, yeah, we wanted to do that other helicopter, but I'll bet you it's just going to be uh, just like the uh, the other one. Um, I can't remember what it was called again. It was C something. We did the MD-500. Will you guys get the hell out of here? Um, 
it was C H C U U C. I can't remember again. Damn it, Jim. A C uh, M I. That's what it is. Okay. Let's grab one of those. And I just want to see if there are any other vehicles. Oh, we never tried the rat. It's probably just going to perform just like the motorcycle. Willie's Jeep. I'm sure it's going to perform just like the 4x. A flat boat. Is that just probably for decoration or does that actually work? I'd be surprised if it did. We have horses, too. Let's grab a horse. Try that out. Okay, I think that's it for the vehicles. Um, let's just see what this looks like. Okay, yeah, this is just going to be another motorcycle. Looks like it. Sounds like it. Definitely goes fast, though. A little bit different horn action. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Um, let's look at this. So, I'm assuming... How close are we to water? I can't imagine this would actually function. Um, let's go over by this little pond here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's it's sinking. No way. Get out of here. Really? Wait. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> There's boats and seven days to die. Oh, man, why couldn't we have found that stupid socket? This is the coolest thing ever. It does kind of sink a little. No. <laughs> it's an amphibious. Oh, that is hilarious. All right, what happens if we get into deeper water? Let's go, um... <laughs> That's the coolest thing ever, you guys. Let's go over to... This is a, a little bit larger body of water. Okay, let's go over there. Um, what else do we want to test out? Oh, we got that other... We got that other chopter. Um, this guy. Oh, actually, let's try our horse. This is a tamed horse. Look at this. Oh, wow, this thing really moves, too. <laughs> and his horn is his name. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is hilarious, you guys. Oh, man. I love it. I mean, you know, the animation's a little wonky, but that's okay. It's, it's just... It's funny. It's kind of gimmicky, you know, but in a fun way. And boy, this... This horse has pretty good, pretty good, uh, you know, speed too. What kind of moving along? What happens if we run into a Zeke? <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's get off our horse. Are you? You gotta stop, buddy. Oh, that's hilarious. Here, we're going to have to put the brakes on. There we go. Is there any way to, like, feed him or anything? <laughs> Very cool. Okay, let's try the chopter. Oh, I keep trying to do a slide jump because I've been playing a lot of Satisfactory. And it doesn't work in this game. 
Okay, this is probably, I'm guessing, going to be just like the one in Undead Legacy. Um, all right, what's going on here? It was, uh, whoa. Okay, let's get, um, uh, we should have enough gas. Okay, so that gives us our lift. Rudder control. C is down, spacebar is back. Wow, the, the controls on this are a lot. Um, they take a little longer to respond, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's easier to control. It's very quiet. So it's not exactly like the, the big chopters were in uh, UDL. It's actually easier to fly. This is really cool. Okay, let's move towards that water, which was over this way. It's too quiet, though. <laughs> it's way too quiet. <laughs> it needs to be much louder than this. Pretty neat, though. It's even got hard points for rockets and missiles. That's cool. Okay, this is actually the place where we were thinking about doing our garden. Okay, so it's hovering. So C is down, but it also is dips the nose, too. It's kind of interesting. Um, space bar is definitely lifting. In addition to pulling it back, we already got our rotors into the, the house there. Okay, we'll stop there. That sounds awesome. Uh, it's just, the, my only complaint is it's too quiet. And it's a little bit tough to seemed a little tough to land but once you're in the air um it actually has really good performance a little easier to fly okay so let's go back to the boat um we had a flat boat and we also had a yeah we have a, a dinghy too so let's try both of these Let's try the dinghy. Hold E to, wait, come here. There we go. Interesting. So it so you can't really keep it from submerging, but it doesn't sink below the surface. I mean, it, it works, though, is, is the amazing thing. It actually works. So am I steering with my mouse? No, I'm steering with my keys. Does it have a reverse? Well, yeah, it has a little bit of a reverse. Don't hit me. This is really cool, though. <laughs> this would have been super useful back in the in the early days of Seven Days to Die, where we had those massive, massive bodies of water. Um, alpha 10, 11, 12, around in, in that, that time frame, I think. That is, this is just neat, though. You know, and it can even go up on land. Look at that. <laughs> it's an amphibious vessel. Alright. Uh, 
we're gonna pretty much get the same experience with the boat. Let's let's try it too, just for funsies. And we don't actually have to set it in the water. We can put it here to fuel it up. Um, here, let's get a little more gas. Oh, I have lots of gas. Oh, we only have to fill it up once. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I like the dinghy a little bit better. Just because, I mean, this is... It's really weird how it, it's, how it's submerged, but... I mean, even so, it, it the important thing is that it works, and it's fun. Okay, so when you're on land, you use the mouse to stare like you would on the mini bike, but as soon as you get into the water, uh, then it switches to camera mode, and you have to use the keys, and it doesn't turn quite as sharply in the water, but that's okay. How neat. It even has a horn, too. It needs a foghorn. Wong! <laughs> Oh, fun stuff, you guys. Fun stuff. I'm glad we took the time to play around with some of this in-game stuff. And again, I just... It sucks that we didn't actually be able to experience it in the actual Let's Play, but it just wasn't in the cards, I guess. Very neat. I love it. I love it. Scoots along, <laughs> Scoots along pretty good on land. Oh my goodness. How fun. All right, well, let's see. Is there anything else we want to mess around with? Um, were there any other weapons that we didn't really fully experience? You know, I never actually tried the repeater crossbow. Um, I do have actually have one, too. It's this one here. Let's see if we can get a... Yeah, green one's good enough. And let's get some crossbows, some steel ammo. Let's just check this out and see what it is. Is it just, um, uh, okay. So it's a three shot deal. Ooh, I kind of like that. We never really spec though into archery beyond what we did in the very early game. Cool, man. Very cool. Uh, all right. Anything else? Anything else that's uh that's mod specific? We got a hell hell beard. We already tried the spears and all that. There's the Glock 40, the Colt, the Mac 10. We already messed with all those. I think we got we have the scar, but it wasn't um wasn't actually as good as something else um here's the ksg 12 with a shotgun uh, stun grenades little hunting rifle we already tried the thumplerite thing not super impressed with that oh the hyper blaster yeah let's let's try that out we'll put these weapons down here Okay, so this is... Oh, well, that's kind of neat. I think, I, like I said, I think I have one of these, but I looked at it and it didn't... The damage on it wasn't as good as... Um, 60 range damage as... I think, the, where it was at the M60 we were using, which is 59, but, you know, M60 versus... Still pretty cool, though. Um, all right, let's check this out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Reminds me of one of the shotguns uh, on uh, Juarez that we that we tried out. Okay, what about this guy? Oh wow! Holy Moses! All right, how, what kind of damage does this do? 35, but the fire rate is just nuts. All right, where's the Zombo? <laughs> oh, man. See, now we found one of these in some loot, but I, I didn't have the ammo for it. Uh, this energy cell ammo. 
This thing is a beast. Holy shit. Uh, here, let's see if we can wake up some sleepies in this house and just nail them with this thing. Here, let's look at the hal halberd. Okay, so it just has the spear animation, and it doesn't look like you can throw it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, out of stamina. Let's drink uh, this. Hello, Zombos. This place is flooded. All right, well, we're not going to be able to shoot it, fire the weapon down here. Anybody home? Okay. <laughs> that works. That works. We explode that car. Doesn't seem to want to blow up. Yeah, so the mo I guess the the novelty with this is the quick fire rate. It doesn't do a ton of damage though. But it man, fire rate is awesome. I mean the damage is decent too. It's not bad. Plus, you know, this isn't this isn't modded at all. So if you modded it up, it'd probably be pretty good. Let's try this guy out. Are we crouched? How come my crouch key's not working? That's not the right crouch key. I don't know. Let's see if we can snipe her. Yeah, this is this thing does terrible damage. Oh shit. The sights on this make it really hard to see. One thing to keep in mind, too, you know, when I say it does terrible damage, you got to remember that I have no skill, part, or very low skill in assault weapons and rifles, so that's a big part of it. I have, probably have more skill in shotguns than anything else, and even that's not maxed out because everything takes so long to, you know, to level here in the mod. All right, very cool. Uh, anything else we want to check out before we wrap things up here? We got some of these. We never actually did anything with them. So it's basically just a club type of animation. Um, We got a Winchester. That's just like, a, I think, a single or double shot shotgun, if I remember right. We have Thor's hammer, but we we didn't like it. We, as in I, myself, didn't like it because it didn't do as much damage as our normal sledge. There's a mace. I think we also got the um this, too, but same thing, you know. Hmm. It's interesting that the animation doesn't have you actually look through the eye hole. Sounds kind of cool. Whoops. 
Yep, that's a mace. It's a flashbang. All right, cool. Ooh, I like the sound of that. How many rounds? That was four in the chamber, right? Yeah. Uh, the hand is all janked out on it, though. I love the sound of it, though. It's cool. All right, you guys. Well, I think that is it for our Ravenhurst adventure. It was a fun time. And like I said, uh, it is my intention to play this mod again uh, in Alpha 20 at some point during the Alpha 20 um, era. And uh, hopefully when we do it, um, at that point in time, you know, we'll be able to find the socket, which will allow us to, to actually make some of these vehicles. Now that we've tried them out, some of them I really like. I mean, I, I like this chopper for the most part. Um, I hate the duster. It sucks. <laughs> I like the, uh, the hell, hell hound vehicle or whatever. That thing is just amazing with the screamer horn and everything. And, um, just some fun stuff. And I, of course I like the dirt bike a lot too. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll plan on Ravenhurst at some point during alpha 20. And I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, not only this episode, but this whole series. I really appreciate everybody watching and who stuck with it. Uh, through the whole series, especially through the earlier episodes where I was pissing and moaning about how hard the, the mod was and just, you know, going through that adjustment period. Uh, but it was good times, and I'm glad that I did stick with it uh, and that we, you know, took it all the way to, to the end here. Uh, so, yeah, guys, um, Alpha 20 on Monday for me. Uh, I can't do Stream Awakening because it requires a minimum of 5,000 subscribers. And I'm only, uh, I'm getting close to 3,000, uh, which is awesome. So who knows? Maybe when Alpha 21 drops, uh, I will be to 5,000 at that point in time. But only you guys can help me with that. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please, please consider subscribing, especially if you watch me on a regular basis. Um, you know, it that happens to all of us YouTubers. We have the, the majority of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed because we can tell that, you know, by looking in, in the analytics in... It doesn't make sense. So, you know, if, you, if you're enjoying this content, if you watch me on a regular basis or even just catch my videos once in a while, just hit that subscribe button if you can because and, and the like button, too. That's also very important for the algorithm. It doesn't cost you anything, and it does help out the channel, and we all uh, greatly appreciate it. Okay, guys, on Monday, Alpha 20, we'll see you then, and we're going to have a great time, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.